How long does it take to make Windows 11 25H2 a fully up-to-date OS, supposed to be the most secure Windows of all time, unbootable? How long does it take? Let's start. So here I am on the Windows desktop. I just want to start by showing you guys there's nothing going on. This is 16 gigs of RAM. This is a VM, of course. Uh, we can see it's got the VMware graphics card. There's nothing wrong with this. It's not activated, but I did choose Windows 11 Education just because you can make a local account with no issues. Um, and that is a top tip, by the way. If you want to use Windows 11 without a Microsoft account, just use Enterprise or Education. Um, those will get you past it because Microsoft actually cares about their Enterprise customers and their Education customers, but not their home customers. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to start the timer. I will put a timer in the one of the corners of the screen and we're going to speed run making Windows unbootable. So let's start right now. So we're going to open regedit and we're going to go to local machine. We're going to go software, uh, Microsoft, uh, I could optimize my speed run here. Windows NT current version. Uh, image file execution options. We're going to make a new key for win logon. So this is the process uh, that Windows uses to boot uh, the startup and user management. And we're going to go string value and we're going to make it debugger. So this is the thing that's going to open with. And we're going to put in here uh, svchost.exe. And that's it. Done. Timer can stop now. 40.3 seconds. Very impressive. So what this is actually doing is setting a flag in the registry that when this win logon program or process, sorry, I should say, actually opens, it is going to run with service host. Now service host is a process in Windows that is a service host. It's a process that services use and um, basically I'm not really, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a Dave Plummer, I built task manager guy, so I don't have some BS explanation as to how it works, but basically, you, if you're a service process, you hook into service host to run and get permission to run, get permission to access uh, system files, drivers, all that sort of thing. So what this is doing is basically opening with a dummy process because this is not a service, so it's not gonna interact with service host properly. So we'll just go ahead, I will leave this in real time and we will restart the VM. I don't wanna cut any footage or anything like that. <clears throat> this is a totally, normal VM, there's nothing going on, uh, just so I'm able to open this stuff up without you guys seeing all my other programs, and we can see that if I alt enter out of this VM, I'm not doing anything to it, and it's dead. It won't boot anymore, it finishes booting all the drivers, it finishes loading the Windows files, but it will not work. Now, it wouldn't be that hard, I don't believe, to patch this because all Microsoft needs to do is add some sort of flag somewhere in the registry that ignores image file execution option keys for system files, basically. So this was used by a lot of rogue antiviruses back in the day to hijack things like Internet Explorer. The idea is that they would have a key in there that says when you open Internet Explorer, it either opens with service host, so it does nothing, or it actually opens with our malicious file that is a fake Internet Explorer telling you that there's uh, a lot of malware, you know, in your browser and that sort of thing. And I'll have a link to a couple of those videos down below. But this is still being used, and it's part of why I think Windows is not going to be this crazy modern OS that Microsoft wants unless it's completely rewritten because it's still based on these old foundations. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it's gonna be incredibly difficult for Microsoft to mitigate things like this um, while still maintaining compatibility with, you know, legacy Windows software. So th that's it. This VM won't boot anymore. Um, we can try restarting it again. We can go reset here. I'll full screen you. So, it's going to clear the RAM, hopefully. And here we go. So you can see Windows 11 is actually booting fine. It doesn't crash. It's not going to give you a blue screen or anything like that. It's actually doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, it is booting as you asked it to. It's doing exactly what you want to uh, if you've set this registry key. So there's nothing actually wrong in Windows's eyes, so to speak. 
like I said earlier, Windows 11, still vulnerable in 25H2, still gets owned by a single registry key. Cool OS bro. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.